Hey y'all, Choice here. Thank you so much for joining me again for another session of Choice Spirit. Here I want, I would love, I'm, I'm attempting to do this video with the wind. <laughs> uh, it's been very windy here lately. So, but anyway, thank you so much for joining me again. Uh, today I want to speak about this thing called critical race theory. Something someone decided, you know, they've been teaching it in the universities, but people still don't know really. They don't really get it because they're trying to label it as something. But I'm here to say, I'm not speaking against or for, <laughs> but I'm going to put it this way. Why not just come with the truth? Why not just teach the children the truth? You don't have to label it as anything. Give them the correct history. The correct history may start with Co Christopher Columbus did not discover America, right? It also may go back a little bit and say that our founding fathers really just the Constitution is really the law of the Native Americans. You might also want to begin to say Barack Obama was the eighth black president. There's just so much. And all of these historians and archaeologists and you name it that's on there, on the various channels, history channels, whatever, <laughs> all of those that are spewing history trying not to bring up Africa. Trying not to talk about the Nubians or if they say Christian. Trying to speak of Egypt without talking about ancient Egypt. Trying to speak about the Greeks and, 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 say, and not say that they actually learned, they got a language, a language from the Nubian, the people that were uh, from Africa in ancient Egypt that they actually didn't have a true language. It was created for them, or uh, writing, or know anything about math or sciences or any of these things. They kind of skip over and just want to tell you about what the Greeks said. When Plato clearly tried to be honest, <laughs> Plato tried to, was honest in his writings to let it be known, to, tell, to let it be known that where he actually got his information and what he was working with to expound on that. If they just tell, tell the truth, you know, that you know, there were African people in Americas long before, thousands and thousands of years before a, a Christopher Columbus. I mean, this consistent skirting around the truth is, is, is truly heart-wrenching. You know, people just can't handle the truth. <laughs> they can't tell it. <laughs> because it says a lot about who they are. Now, uh, you know, we want all the children to grow up with sound minds, though they had no, no interest in being sure that our minds are sound. Because the one thing they know is that if you reconnect people with the truth, they grow in power. And the last thing they want is people, is African American people or people with melanated skin around the world to become empowered. If you travel around the world, you can see that they wiped everybody out. and label themselves as, the, you know, or they change the images to make them look bright and white. The natives of the land are told they, some of them were brought there, they, they were brought there through ships because other people came and brought them there to that land. They have no recollection, no history, no nothing to, re to let them know that they are the natives of that land. Even when we see uh, 
This, when you go and you travel to different places, carved in stone thousands and thousands of years ago, you have image of people with cornrows, with locks, with all kind of black folk hairdos that we still do today. And that's probably one of the reasons, one of the reasons why they want us to change our do. You look at any one of these statues, any one of these carvings, and you see your brother, your sister, your mother, your aunt, your uncles, your whatever, your father, in every one of these images with the hair and locks and braids, and they're, they're there. They built those things. Then they want to tell you that, oh, no, they were aliens. Aliens looking just like who? Even if you go into the Egypt, they're trying to straighten the noses and everything else, lighten the skin. They got people in there painting over the, the Egyptian uh, images, trying to make them yellow and whatnot. It, it gets to be painful. It's pretty sad. And, 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 and let me not use the word sad. But it's, it's, it, it is sad. <laughs> people are desperate. They are so desperate to erase our history. To keep our own knowledge and art and, and information from us. Because as children, when we sit up in that class and get a glimpse, and get a glimpse out of the greatness we be, there is no even playing field, and they know this. That's why they work so hard to, to beat folk down. To psychologically, you know, to get them twisted psychologically. The last thing we need is for our children to sit in there with them with this what, it, what it's about in your bedroom kind of thing, what your sexuality is about, and, 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 and now this critical, critical race theory and all of that, want them in there learning that from kindergarten. <laughs> Planting the seeds, because you know the saying is, give me your child for the first seven years and I'll let you know who that child will be as a man or a woman. They were speaking about men, but for man or woman. Send them to school so I can teach them about critical race theory and see what confusion will come out of that for both sides. They can't even tell the truth about in in inventions. The black inventors, we wouldn't have a light bulb. We wouldn't have a cell phone with digital technology. We wouldn't have, we wouldn't have so many things. A cotton gin. Every industrial revolution has something to do with the enslaved person behind the brains behind the actual invention. Even this, this Bitcoin and whatever they're doing with this, this is something they were already doing in Africa. They were already do, dealing with money in this way in Africa, digitally, in a digital payment. When they found out, they came run. They went running all over, <laughs> trying. You know how they how they're working with money in Africa, <laughs> and now you have all this other stuff. Oh, we're going digital. Chinese jumped on it. Europeans jumped. Everybody jumped on it. Black Wall Street already was. We had a couple of Black Wall Streets before they knew anything about Wall Street. They only need to start with the truth. The truth. But let me tell you, when that happens, and it's happening anyway, they can't hide it anymore. See, when they did the, the printing press, right? 
and they began printing books. The majority of them, they couldn't, no one, they really didn't read. Many didn't read. So it was basically for the elite. But it got to a point where people were beginning to learn how to read. So they had to do more coding. By the way, I hear them talking about coding. Every child should know about coding. Or at least someone in the family should know coding. Okay? And it's not much. Because once we get in touch, the DNA opens. More information is released. More in tune we become. To that which is within. So I know I'm all over the place. <laughs> Forgive me. I know I'm all over the place. The one thing I will say is that we do have to write things down. Keep everything written down and do not, do not, do not put everything. Keep everything written. Keep all your photos. Do not put everything online. Put everything you like online, but keep the backup somewhere safe. Because at any moment, you know, people can wipe out your entire history of all that you are online. It's just like having a phone and, and they decide they want to get rid of your number. Everything you have attached to that number, you, you can't get. Yeah, the more we learn about ourselves, the more confident we become the more confident we become. And remember, I tell you about balance. You gotta tap into the spiritual aspect. You know, you can't just get cocky and overconfident thinking it's all about you. <laughs> In that way. <laughs> the Most High will show you, no, no, no. You're on assignment, it's not all about you. But I said all of that to say, and I'll probably make another video on this. Get your children grounded. Get them grounded. Get them connected. Let them know whose they are. Not by pushing certain things, but by going within and knowing there's an inner presence before you start looking at what somebody else wrote for you to believe. Before you begin to indoctrinate yourself with what someone else twisted our story they twisted it layering your child's truth with that allow them to know that there is a, a truth within they don't need the critical race theory because they're just going to mess it up so much so by the time your child come out of school they won't know that they're behind from their brain Start with letting them know all the great inventors that others took credit for. That others took credit for. Even the cars. You know, a black man invented the car long before there was a Henry Floyd. You know how we get in there and start tinkering with stuff, creating all kinds of stuff. Start with the truth. Tell your children the truth. We're going to have to take a lot of this stuff and put it on different platforms because they're trying to erase everything. They're trying to remove the, the information that's on these various channels. Because once we're connected to the truth, there is no going back. It's on. It's on. <laughs> much love, Choice here. Thank you so much, Choice here. Namaste.